You don't feel that the attack on Mawasi that killed close to 100 Palestinians, injured about 300 others and so on, under the pretext of targeting Hamas leaders, which is really a very convenient... A pretext is a big word, Saeed. I mean... I just want to make sure that's the word you mean. Okay, I mean, uh, oh, uh, under, under the claim okay. that they were targeting uh, Hamas leaders, which they, really, they, they never have to prove anyway. You don't think this is an attempt by the Israeli government to just basically say, you know, you can go... You know, you know, fly a kite, so to so speak. Is, so, to so, Saeed, if you were the representative of the Palestinian people charged with negotiations for this ceasefire, is the idea that the loss of civilian life would make you less committed to reaching a ceasefire? I guess I don't understand the logic of no, the I'm question. I'm not talking about the Palestinians. I no, 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 I'm, I'm just saying that if, if the idea is somehow that this strike and the loss of civilian life would somehow jeopardize negotiations for a ceasefire because the other side wouldn't want to reach a ceasefire? I don't think I understand the, the claim. No, I, I, think that, I think what we have seen uh, in statements and indeed uh, in, in, in uh, the negotiations that uh, Hamas is really, at least it appears to be committed to the negotiations hmm. and so on. But what we have seen is a pattern by the Israeli government that every time you get close to the results, we get something like this, we get a bombardment that, you know, in the hope that it will scuttle, you know, and leave it, you know, to keep the onus on, on Hamas, so to speak. So we're not concerned about the Palestinians are committed to this ceasefire, but are you certain that Israel is committed to the points that were, you know, uh, stated by the president on them on May 31?